Is it wrong to have colored hair? Is there a problem with having multiple piercings? Remy, can I just show my breasts? I really want to show them. I'm living my best life. These are the questions I'll be answering today. Hi ladies, how are you all doing? It's your girl Remy, your global image and etiquette consultant based in Bolton, United Kingdom. So today ladies, we're going in, we're having this conversations um, when it comes to hair color. Should an elegant lady, should she be having any other color besides black? Is it wrong to have multiple piercings? Is it wrong to have a nose piercing? Um, can I just show my boobies? Why do I need to be all covered up? We're going to be answering these questions. Now, ladies, I'm going to start from hair. When it comes to hair, it, it's not really about the hair color. It's more about what you do with the hair color. Because you have people who have red hair and, you know, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. We've had people with blonde hair and they're not looking awkward. We're not looking at them and shouting, Jesus. We're looking and saying, oh, that's nice. It's all about what you do with it. Okay. And now you also need to consider, does this hair color work with the image I'm trying to project? Okay. Does it work with my lifestyle? How am I going to be perceived with this hair color? These are the things you need to consider. And it's the same thing with piercings as well. But we're still talking about hair. Um, so it depends on what you're doing with it. Because it's possible to have red hair. Boom, straight looks nice. And you can have another person, the same shade of red hair. But you have feathers. You have so much going on. And you know that you don't look good. Will that hair restrict you from getting into the rooms you want to gain access to? Because you need to remember that on your way up, when you're trying to elevate and become the best version of yourself, compromise will have to happen. You will have to let go of some things. It's possible that that red hair used to work and it no longer serves you. It won't work for where you're trying to get to. And you need to think, what is it going to be? Red hair or elevation? So like I said, it's, I don't really think it's about what the color of the hair, but what you do with it. That doesn't mean you start wearing blue hair, purple hair, pink and green. You just need to think, am I being modest? Am I overdoing it? Does it work? Let me move on swiftly to piercings. Is it okay to have five, six, ten piercings? What happens if I have a nose ring on? Again, it's not necessarily about the number, but what you're doing with it. Because, for example, I've got two air piercings, but I don't think you've ever looked at me and thought, ugh what is that exactly so if you're thinking of having five six ten piercings think does it work with the image i'm trying to project um how will i be perceived when people see me what is the first thing they're thinking of because remember in seven seconds people create an impression of you it's not a matter of i like it i don't like it they will create an impression of you and i need you to think what kind of impression do i want to leave on the hearts of the people that are meeting me for the first time. Think about that. I also need you to think, persecution. Am I able to deal with the persecution that will come with having this multiple air piercings and this nose ring on? Because again, whether you like it or not, people are going to have a problem with it. Some people will not let you have access into certain rooms because of the way you look, not because they don't like you, but because it's not working with the image they are trying to project, okay? So it's all about the image you're trying to project. How do you want to be perceived? Because in all, in all honesty, um, I don't think God is going to think, oh, you had two piercings, you had three piercings. No, you're not allowed into heaven. No, it's not about that because having one piercing doesn't mean you have a good heart. Doesn't mean that you're doing things right. Doesn't mean that you're godly. Um, it's more about the image you're trying to project because you must remember that we are here on earth and we're dealing with human beings, okay? Not spirit beings. So you need to think, does it work? Now let's talk about modesty and exposing boobies and wearing very high slits because honestly, there's something going on in the world. I don't know if you've seen it. But the high slits out there, they're looking demonic. Like, it looks like there's a demon out there getting into women. And it's almost looking like women are feeling like, if I don't expose something, I can't be remembered. And that, that bothers me. Because the Bible says that your body is the temple of God. What does a temple mean? 
okay? When something is a temple, it's sacred. You won't go into the church and start doing certain things. That you're in a good mood doesn't mean you go into the church and you start twerking. Or that you go into the church with alcohol. I, I don't know if you get what I mean. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm driving somewhere. So you need to think, my body is a temple of God. When people see me, what do I want them to think of me? Okay, because especially when you're in a place of influence, because what you don't say speaks louder than what you say, because when you do certain things, you're automatically saying that it's okay. And you need to think, am I leading people to Christ or am I leading them away from Christ? And you also need to remember that not everybody is cooked enough in the Holy Spirit. Not everybody is able to deal with this thing. So if you have a young girl looking at you, always exposing your boobies and she sees you as a role model, you're indirectly saying to her that it's okay. And she's going to start dressing that way, not being able to control a lot of things and a lot of unpleasant things are going to begin to happen to her. And God is going to ask you because you did have a role to play. So when you're seeking elevation, I feel that we also need to start thinking of the sacrifices we have to make. Because oftentimes I've heard people say, it's my life, my terms, I live it. Listen, when you start attaining certain heights, you become a role model whether or not you like it. And you also, you just really need to think of the people coming behind you. What trails are you leaving? Are you helping them to become better? Because sometimes I feel like we're in certain things and I'm like, hmm. This is me indirectly saying it's okay. People are not going to understand this is what happened. That is what happened. And you just need to compromise. Things have to, you need to let go of some things that used to serve you on your way to your destination because those things will no longer serve you. And you will have to let go. You just need to think, my body is a temple. When people see me, do I want them to always think of sex? Because we're sexualizing ourselves by just thinking, I need to show my breast, I need to show my bum, I need to look a certain way. Who says you can't be covered up and still be seen? And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you have to wear turtleneck. I'm not wearing turtleneck at the moment. I'm not buttoning up all the way here. No, you can see. But are you thinking sex when you think, look at me? You can still wear off shoulders. You can, you know, show your decolletage. I'm not saying you can't do all of that, but what I'm saying is you need to think, do I really need to show so much cleavage? Does my slit have to be that high? You can have a slit, but does it have to get to your crotch area? Do we need to be seeing your panty? Do we need to be looking at you and thinking, mm, what's the color of her panty? Or do you want a man to look at you and just think, mm, how can I get down with her? You, you have control of what people think when they see you. You want people to see you and want to have a conversation with you and think good thoughts, godly thoughts. We are the light of the world. And if you're saying that you are the light, you need to act like the light. You need to understand that certain things will no longer work and you need to drop it. Modesty will never go out of fashion. If you're thinking, okay, I'm going to church, I shouldn't wear that, then you shouldn't wear it. Because if you if what you have in your closet is selective of certain places, then think about it. What is the problem with that outfit? Why can't I wear it to church? Why can't I wear it to meet the Queen of England? Why can't I wear it to meet the executive of that bank? Why is it only accepted in certain places? Therein lies your answer. You know that it's not acceptable. So why do you keep wearing it? You need to come to the point where you're confident in who you are, in what you carry, and understanding that you don't need to do so much for you to be remembered. You want to enter a room and you want them to remember you for more than your physical attributes. You have a brain, you have a mind, you bring value into the room. So just all I'm trying to say with all I'm saying with the hair, with the piercings, with the dressing is, think about it properly. Is it helping you project the right image? Are you carrying and shining the light of Christ when you wear these things? Answer these questions and do the needful. Thank you so much for watching today, ladies. I really do hope that this message today helps you to sit down, think and reevaluate a lot of things. Becoming the better version of yourself every day requires a lot of work. It requires intentionality. Being prim and proper doesn't just happen. You have a role to play. And I really do hope 
that from today, you start taking actionable steps towards becoming better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.